Prime time news this evening. Thousands still without power after extreme wind event. We explore the impact of the absence of sign language interpreters in hospitals. And the Ministry of Health responds to concerns about the availability of ICU beds. Good evening and welcome to Primetime News. We're live on air and also online at onespotmedia.com. A very special welcome also to our viewers on TVJ International in the Cayman Islands. I am Javon Keyes. And I'm Janella Precious. And with a preview of what's to come in business news, here's Anthony Lugg. Well, Janela, the Jamaica Business Development Corporation, JBDC, has signed a memorandum of understanding with Access Financial Services. We'll tell you how businesses stand to benefit a little later. And with a preview of what's to come in sports, here is Giovanni Dennis. Well, Giovanni, it's all about track and field as day one of the national senior and junior trials are underway at the National Stadium. I'll have the details. And we're looking forward to all of that. And we can... And, and I know something that a lot of people will be tuned in later for, and that's Absolutely. the weather report and forecast. Lots of rain today. Romaine, how does that impact uh, the trials happening you know, over the next couple of days? Thanks, Jelena. Now, the worst of the tropical wave is behind us. We are expecting conditions to improve over the next few days. We do have some showers in the forecast tonight, lingering across northern and southwestern portions of the island, but drier conditions are forecast as we move into the weekend. Good news some good there. news there. And there's also sports commentary and E-Prime in this newscast. But before the break, the feedback question. And this evening, we are asking, what was the weather like in your area? Share those comments online at facebook.com slash television Jamaica and post on X at TVJ News Center. All of a sudden, I feel very short. <laughs> <laughs> Stay with us. Primetime News returns after this break.